Oh my goodness, this is what I do. Like I just see how it turns into like little flakes. Pop it in and just let it dissolve. I need a moment of silence. My name is Francesca. I'm 19 years old and I love eating soap. But this one is the best one. It kind of reminds me of like a Parmesan cheese. It's like a drug. I just feel so good when I do it. I'm addicted to it. It tastes so amazing. Mm. I eat at least two bars of soap a day. These are all of my soaps. I look at the soap like kids because it's like I'm the mommy and I don't have a favorite. Like I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. I first ate soap, like actually chewed on it. Around eight years old and I had to hide the fact for about 10 years. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> you don't even understand. But last year I ended up telling my best friend Kaika and my cousin Dagmar. They just felt like I was being crazy. Ew. Did she really just do that? Wow. She did. She did. She really put it in her mouth. I had to. Wow. I'm happy with it. This is who I am, but they feel like it's so weird and disgusting. I'm hiding this from the most important person, my boyfriend, Cleo, and I love him a lot. I met him about a year ago when I went on a cruise. So it's like a long distance relationship, but we make it work. I've been thinking about telling Cleo for a couple of months now, but I don't know if he would still want to be with me or if he would just leave and never come back. Hey, what's up? Hi, babe. Hey, baby, I miss you. What you doing? Hey, babe, I miss you too. Can't wait to see you on Monday. Sometimes it's so hard separating the two things that I love because I love my boyfriend and I love the soul. And on many occasions, he was this close to finding out. What you drinking? Some chocolate milk or something? No, a smoothie. It's Did strawberry and banana. banana. Our one year anniversary is coming up, and I don't want to keep a secret from him. Dave, you know it's our anniversary? Yeah. What do you want to do, though? I'm not sure. We could talk about it more on Monday. At this point, I'm ready to let Cleo know the truth. All right, baby. Love you. Love you, too. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, how are you? I'm going to get manicures. Today I'm hanging out with Kaika and my cousin Dagmar. Yo, look at all these messages. Oh my god. <laughs> I just wish they could just be cool with it. Like, it's not a big deal. What the hell? Really what? Put it down. What's the problem? This is public. You know that? You don't know these people. OK, whatever. This is not a normal thing. Here we go again. I'm not gonna stop, and you guys should just keep your opinion to yourself. When you tell Cleo, you're gonna tell him, just keep your opinion to yourself, exactly. right? You guys always have something negative to say about it. And I'm it. pretty sure he's gonna have something to say about it, too. He's gonna laugh in your face. What if he break up with you because of that? He's gonna think that he has an insane girlfriend. <laughs> They're always warning me that when he does find out that it's gonna be pretty ugly. And that's what I'm afraid of. You know you have a problem, right? Are you done yet? Never gonna be done till you stop. Talk to my wet hands. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is what I do. Like I just see how it turns into like little flakes. Pop it in and just let it dissolve. I need a moment of silence.